Hey, Mist, how you doing, man? I am very much excited to play this. I've been waiting a long time to play Red Dead Revolver. I was gonna do that. Aw, oh, damn. Sorry, Pant. Misty beat you to it. How you doing, Pant? Yeah, I'm tired, too. Kinda... I know, I was kind of moody and grumpy earlier, but now I'm feeling better. Uh, just very excited to play this. Got ads? Shit, I'm sorry, Pan. I love that art of me hunting the boffins. That's wonderful. Oh, poor Pan. Mm, 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 mm. <gasps> Sleepy. Yeah, I guess I'm tired too. I had um, two energy drinks and a cup of coffee today. I had my cup of coffee a couple hours ago, but I I'm still feel like it's giving me the fuel I need to get by for this stream at least. Bow, 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 bow. Make sure none of these pages refresh. There we go. Also, I misread that as man, I got AIDS at first, and I felt really bad for you. Like, oh no, Pant, I'm sorry. Like, I wouldn't know what to say. That's fair. I need to get back to doing that. I used to do that. Da -na -da -da -na -da. I love this song. Uh, okay. Sounds good to me, I guess. Oh, we'll just leave that one then. I love the song. But yeah, I really should get in the habit of limiting my caffeine intake. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. Like, it, it, I'm, it's an average thing today nowadays where I'm just like, I'll drink a, an energy drink and then feel nothing. Like, I've it's that's a common experience now. Or I'll like drink uh, caffeine to stay up when I'm tired and then just immediately fall asleep after drinking a cup of coffee or like downing an energy drink and just having crazy dreams. Oh, heck you, Rockstar Reddit. Anyway. Um, yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to today's, to today's stream. We're gonna be playing... God damn you! Oh my goodness. I love Discord sometimes. I love it when the embeds just don't work for no reason. Uh, let's copy and delete this post. Ha, I, lo I love your- I love you, Discords, but man, sometimes I hate you. There we go, and I gotta repost all these. That's fine, that's alright. You have RDR? Nice! I'm playing, uh... I'm playing the very, very first one, which is Red Dead Revolver for the PS2. I know you're gonna ask, why am I using the Red Dead Redemption category? Because people actually look in the Red Dead Redemption category. I love this song. This is the uh, club theme from Deus Ex. It's the coffee, though. Yeah, coffee's awesome, man. I didn't like it as a kid. It took me. It was an acquired taste. You do? Nice. I really. That's the that's the system I played it on. I played it on the PS3. I really played all of that. Like I played most of that generation's Rockstar games on the PS3. Everything except for GTA V. I still haven't played. Small cups because of that. That's fair. I feel like I, I feel like I'd enjoy espresso, like a single shot of caffeine twice a day, maybe. I just I drink coffee with like two of my three meals a day. All right, I drink coffee or have some sort of caffeine for all three of my meals a day. Like I have it with my breakfast, I have it with my lunch to keep me going while I'm at work, and I have it with my dinner right before I stream. So because of my lifestyle, I kind of have to stay caffeinated, stay energized, and stay ready to go. Love this music. Yeah, this is uh, very different from Red Dead Redemption. You guys will see. It's it's uh, it is a strange little game. Very cool though. Just more Western goodness. Oh, I'm getting a ping in arena. Oh, okay, something about Legend of Dragoon. I'll check that later. See a cowboy cat. 
What'd you think of the pixel art? Um, in show floor? Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I love, I love the trading card concept. It's really fun. Oh yeah, and the Reddit thing. Yes, I gotta add that. Hey, Obi. Yeah, the Reddit thing. I'll definitely have to, wait, is that a Reddit thing? Oh shit, it's a pixel art thing. I literally thought you went on r slash uh, site or whatever it's called and you were able to like get an image of me on there. r slash place, thank you. Yeah, I thought it was an r slash, I think it was an r slash place thing, but it was just pixel art. That's still awesome, man. Uh, I love it. Alrighty, so let's... Hi everyone, how's it going? Uh, no, you weren't able to. That's fine, that's perfectly fine. I just, I didn't understand. How you doing, Obi? How goes the stalkering? Stalking. Remind me later. Thanks, PCSX2. Rad Dad Ravager. Hell yeah. Rad Dad Ra- I actually gotta- Oh, hold on. Jesus Christ game. Alright, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and reset. Double click. Hopefully this kicks in soon. Come on. Come on, start picking up images. Start picking up video. Come on, OBS. Come on, there you are. Hell yeah. Day three of asking for my evil hydrate. I'm sorry, I have no alcohol in the house. I'm dieting right now. I love this intro. So there's some problems with the uh, emulation we're gonna have here. This game likes its filters. Emulators don't play nice with filters. It's a weird thing. Don't remind me every day. Oh, nice. Enjoy the uh, enjoy the center of the zone. I like Rad Dad Ravager. That's the name of tomorrow. That's the name of the next uh, Red Dead stream. It is like a little introduction of all of our characters. We'll be able to play as Shadow Wolf and some of the villains as well. Colonel Darren. These guys look like No More Heroes bosses. Governor Griffin. So yeah, this first game was in red. I like the music. It makes me happy. Hey guys, how's it going? I really like westerns. I watched a bunch of them this weekend. I watched The Unforgiven, The Homesman, and True Grit, uh, the new one. The one by the Coen brothers. Again, probably my favorite directors. They also directed No Country for Old Men, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, and The Big Lebowski. Three of my other favorite movies. Hi, how's it going? Cowboy Gaming, let's go. The Cowboy Catboy. I was trying to find a hat that fit me. Yes, it is, actually. It is the first game in the Red Dead series. Red Dead Redemption is actually a sequel to this. Oh my god. <laughs> Be the Brain Scorcher is CNPP in the same stream, because that last part's really annoying. Alright, makes sense. So yeah, here we are. Here's our start. Uh, basic options. We're going to go ahead and just make ourselves a new player. New player, uh, we're going to go... We're going to ditch the name Red. Change the name. Uh, oh, remove player. Um, add a letter. Here we are. A L E X. Alex the Cowboy. Isn't Red Harlow? Yes, I think so at least. I, I know that uh, I know that Red Harlow exists in some matter in the later games. This takes place before those, though. Before even Red Dead Two. Uncle Cat. I wouldn't mind doing Uncle Cat, but it is too late. I am sorry. Yeah, this is. Uh, this was actually developed. By Capcom, it was it was originally going Alex the Cow Cat, meow, <laughs> meow, but this was actually being developed by Capcom before uh, Red before Rockstar bought the rights and basically just continued with it. So it helped them finish the game, help their game get released, and then from there, Rockstar then made their own in-house sequel to the game in the form of Red Dead Redemption. Chapter one, Bullseye. Young Nate Harlow built a cabin a ways away from Bear Mountain, partly to get some distance from the Red Wolf tribe after some folks weren't happy about him marrying Falling Star. Mooyu. <laughs> well, that's not in this one, I don't think. This one's a bit goofier. Pew! 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 Pachoo! Yeah, tone setter. This one's a bit more. Uh, this one's a bit more. Uh, uh, what's the word? It's old western, not quite revisionist western. I'll be honest. Pew! Hey, Alice. I'm I'm reading Blood Meridian right now, and this is going to be the biggest tonal shift in terms of westerns. 
Because, like, Blood Meridian is, like, the darkest western. Son! Son! Our troubles are finally over. We hit a vein of gold as wide as a locomotive that runs clean through Bear Mountain. Hey, Pa, where'd you get that? Isn't she a beaut? Yeah! Can I hold it? Trigger discipline, dude. There are only two in the whole world. Where's the other one? My partner Griffin It's, uh, emulated. Made up special to symbolize our new family. Not a very nice looking game. Can I try it out? One day this Stuff. fine She's the big iron. But for now, why don't you take my old pistol? Hell yeah. Go on down to the river and Careful with the damn thing. Give your mom her gifts. Haven't you heard about the song Big Iron on his hip, boy? Sing it, girl. <laughs> There's a target practice area for you to follow the fence path down to the creek. Bed to learn how to shoot. Shoot him in the foot. That's Daplin, son. <laughs> Move left. The so yeah, this game likes its filters, as you can see. That's our movement here. There's our house. This I don't. I do not believe this is an open world game. Um, it's Diablo, so <laughs> just the camera settings. I'm gonna stick with the default for now. But if I have trouble aiming and shit, uh, also I want to point out both of my parents are southern. I will be doing the cowboy voice for fun on here, uh, meaning I might accidentally my accent, my old accent might come back. Just warning you guys ahead of time. If I if we're three streams of this in and I get a little bit yeehaw in the way I talk, uh, don't mind that. My folks are southern. My folks are southern. Follow the path down to the creek bed. Now, partner, I'm not not gonna lie, but I'm holding that. <laughs> I'd kill it, then kill everyone you know. How you doing, man? Here you can learn how to shoot. Can I? Begin training section. All right, let's try out shooting. Blunderbuss? You kidding me? Think it's 1859? Aim at the bullseye. Got it. Ow. That's some good shooting, Tex. Let's use his targeting dummy as an enemy. I don't know how to reload in this game, by the way. This is giving you guys a bit of a wrong body part. Try again. Shoot the dummy's right foot. Bit of a a uh, preview of what you guys are going to be witnessing over the course of the next few weeks is me not being very good at with aiming on a controller. Sadly, this has no PC port. Take out those bottles and pans over on the fences. New Vegas reference? God, I wish I had a PS3 controller. It's one of the things I liked about the PS3 contr controller is how sensitive the joystick felt. Get an Xbox controller. I'm using one right now. I'm using an Xbox One controller at this very moment. It's not going well because I'm not good at aiming on a controller. <laughs> Mouse and keyboards got me spoiled. Sunny Smiles appears right behind you. <laughs> I didn't bring you out. I, I reckon you didn't come out here to shoot sarsaparilla bottles. Aww. Now don't handpick the boy. Next trip into town, I'll buy you a whole bunch of new pots and pans. Oh, here come the varmints! Red, up the hill and quick, boy. We're getting raided. I'm coming, Pa! I'm coming, Pa! Oh, my kid, yeah. Like Jack. All right, we got to do some settings changes here. So, um, I am terrible. So we're gonna go ahead and crank up our sensitivity here. Make it so I can aim a bit better. Uh, invert targeting, target mode, normal inverted, hold or toggle. Um, shit, that's tough. <sighs> we'll accept that is as is for now, and I gotta rebind my. Uh... All right, son. Time to go kill some geckos. I swear. <laughs> Man, I love that game so much. Is this whole stream just going to be us making fucking... <laughs> is this whole thing just going to be us making uh, Red Dead, or, uh, New Vegas references? Because I'm down for that. I'm totally down for that. Part 2, there we go. Alright. Pa, what's a gecko? Play more New Vegas in the best fallout. Well, this is like Arizona. I think so, yeah. Alright, we're going to give this try. But yeah, warning ahead of times, I am not good at aiming on a controller. You bet. See what I mean? Oh, yeesh! Big guy. Oh, that's how I pistol whip. Alright. I can dodge. There you go. Got you, buddy. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the rain effects on top of the filtering, because I can't see shit. What's what's the secret? Dead eye ready. Oh god. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have Deadeye yet. I know you. I, I think I. At least I think you get Deadeye in this game. I love how the aiming doesn't slow you down at all, which would be really nice. I, I'd probably be loving this on mouse and keyboard, but as you all know, I am quite shy. That's my dad. I don't want to shoot my father yet. 
too young for that. Whoa! I felt some wind in that one. Got him. Also, that aiming is really genuine. My country boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, RDR1's in a weird place. It emulates kind of bad. I mean, on my PC, at least. I, I have had really inconsistent luck with uh, PS3 emulation. Red Dead Redemption 2, though, I might pick that one up and play that one first, because it's a prequel. I might just skip right to 2, and I'll go back and play 1 since it takes place after 2. Uh, but yeah, I plan on playing it, and yes, I am a- I- I is a country boy. I mean, at least my folks are. I grew up in- I grew up in a small town. Here we go. Oh no, I, I shot him, so already fell through the floor. Poor bastard. Yeehaw! Oh shit. God damn. Don't drop your piece! No! No! Panema. <laughs> I read that as Panema. <laughs> Him being such a yellow belly and all. <laughs> oh, nice! So I guess this tells us it takes place either. This takes place before the invention of. Wait, no, let. Okay, that's not actually true. Made a game over screen? Really? Small town boy living in a lonely world? Indeed. Use dead eye there. That's how he learned it. So now he's got a red hand. It's all burnt because he tried to grab his paw's gun and he landed the shot though. So here's the question. Uh, I, okay, so I've been reading. I have been reading um, Blood Meridian. I re I rewatched True Grit. I rewatched Django and a bunch of westerns lately. And basically, what I have discovered is that certain westerns don't get their gore right. So, for example, Django, that is a movie with really over-the-top gore. People just get splattered in that, right? Well, the reason being, the guns they're using are cap and ball weapons. Uh, Civil War era weaponry would just tend to, it, you know, blow a golf ball hole... Uh, bl sorry. Blow a golf ball-sized hole in the man. He's dead on the spot. Like, ball-based weapons just blew holes through people and, like, would blow off limbs and shit. So... What I'm wondering, whenever I watch a new Western, my question is always, are we using ball ball weapons or are we using bullet weapons? Because a bullet will go through you. Uh, a ball weapon will take your limbs with it, you know? So in this game, you can tell it's uh, shell-based weaponry. It's also harder to reload because you got to reload the cap and the primer and all that. Anyway, sorry, just gun nerd thing I've been thinking about. Look, the midnight train going west. We don't build houses anymore. What is this, 1795? <laughs> I was thinking about playing that house building song as the uh, as the opener for the stream, but I figured it'd be too early. Oh yeah, the same loading thing that uh, Redemption has. Look at that. I know what that is. Red. That's how he looks now. Six shots, more than enough to kill anything that moves. This is the best handgun ever made, the Colt Single Action Army Revolver. Twelve shots. I have twelve shots. Psst. Oh, e easy there, uh, friend. <laughs> Come on over here. Come on now. It's too dangerous for a man to be walking around in these parts. And a molester, are you? weapons and goods. See. Are you gonna try and sell me seeds to fight the zombies? There's Uncle Red Rag. Ooh. Dude, I got money. I got $362 from killing that dude. All right. Got whiskey. It's a hard world without a hard drink. All right. Interesting. Ruin Poncho. That unlocks a new journal page. Okay. So these are all things that will basically unlock. Ooh, unlock a showdown character? Okay. Burnt gun case. Well, it's only six for the Poncho. Uh, I, I don't need that much. So we'll go ahead and just buy what we can. There we go. And the whiskey. And the Ruin Poncho. And that's about it. Now come into this bush. Bye to look cool. <laughs> Alright, let me check this shit. Game over, dodge the counter punch, or get sliced and diced. <laughs> yup. That's me. That's my life. <laughs> Join the Nintendo fan club or die, Mac. 
I'd rather buy a poncho to look badass so no one messes with me. Hell yeah, man. Well, I, I did buy the poncho. Uh, all right, we're done here. Oh boy. Your dog looks terrible, sir. I love this voice acting. At this range? I think I'm just gonna knife you. Oh, that is amazing! <laughs> just, gra just grabbed him in mech and just backhanded him. Oh, that's great. Oh, boy. <laughs> Was he trying to molest? That's the pant seep geo stream when I mentioned myself. Oh, no. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta keep your brand going. What did you do? I fucking grabbed him and backhanded him. <laughs> just be like, me, bitch! <laughs> just fucking press... Alright. Press X when cover. walking into cover. What? There's cover system in this game? Get what? Down. That's crazy. Targeting while taking cover. Hold. Did not know that. Holy shit, that's crazy. Oh, look at that bullet drop. That is aggressive. Oh shit! All right. Well, I guess I gotta worry about those shooters. Can't worry about those shooters right now. Oh, this. Oh, this is bad. Use my wagon for cover. Press X when walking into cover. Or press. Yeah. Hold L1. <laughs> I love how I had to reload. That is some aggressive bullet drop. All right, I did it. I, what the hell? Okay, all right. Fucking, oh my god, game. How come they never added this into San Andreas? Resident Evil type cover system. Absolutely, like RE4. Totally. Move to the ed edge of the cover object to continue. Target will take cover. Hold L1. Fire from cover. Press R1 while aiming. Yes, I will do just that, sir. Turn to cover. Attach to cover. Press square. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to show me? All right, we're good. We're good. I want that, I want that rifle. Actually, have a, I actually have a rifle. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Alright, well, let's get some work done. There we go, got you. And for you, sir. You're done. Excellent. There's triangle, you keep retrying. No, I know, I, I didn't understand. Uh... Time to learn the art of the dead eye. Oh boy, just what I've been waiting for. All right, draw your gun with the L1 button. Excellent. Oh, let's switch over to this. Or start dead eye with the R2 button. Okay. Yep, there it is. Famous deady. Dead eye ready. Congratulations, you've learned to use dead eye. Isn't dead eye just a show skill? Uh, it's a quick. It's a quick way to. Kill uh, enemies. Uh, this is chaos, man. I'm bouncing all over the place. Holy shit, I love these characters. Well, it's the idea is that he, um, he was, uh, it was like a time skip there. So he, he didn't just go from, like, shit child to, uh, hardened gunslinger. Sure thing. Jesus, tough motherfuckers. No one already already it's to show John's and Arthur's skill or how skilled they are at aiming. Yeah, it's the idea. Oh yeah, okay. Basically, it's the idea that they can do it, but that's how well. I think canonically, that's how well they can shoot. All right, nice, nice. Alrighty. I love the meaty sounds when I land a shot. That's pretty great. Here I, come. I am mashing that X button and it's not doing nothing. Whew. That was... This is going to be tough. I can already feel it. Oh boy. Damn. 
damn son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> yeah, me too, it's great. You know, you can get quite a handsome bounty for these fellas if you took them down to Sheriff O'Grady's in Widow's Patch. Do I scalp him? Taking your cart. Oh my god, he sounds like a fucking anime sure, character. Whatever you say, bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I'll be taking your cart. Bloody time was $30. That was like a million dollars back then. $496. Time, best combo, $30 times two, good. Oh, nice, you unlocked a showdown character, cool. That's for the PvP mode, I think. Be my friends, I am the shadows and the rain and the wind. I am the storm that is approaching. Here's some trivia for you guys. Did you guys know that early westerns were in fact like remakes or adaptations of old samurai movies? Not like the old black and white shit, but like the, you know, the cool westerns, the spaghetti westerns that happened after Blazing Saddles. Things like High Plains Drifter, all the Clint Eastwood movies, those, a lot of them were send-ups to old uh, samurai movies. And then what ended up happening is after those came out in America, Akira Kurosawa's, uh, Akira, uh, Akira Kurosawa, one of the guys who made a lot of those movies, basically said, I'm going to sue you guys unless you give me the distribution rights to those movies in Japan. And so then they had to. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Red Dawn. But, uh, not Red Dawn, that's a totally different movie. Red Sun, Red Sun, that's the name of the western movie with the samurai. Sorry, wow, Red Sun over paradise. But, yeah, Kira Kurosawa was then put in charge of the distribution rights of a lot of those westerns in Japan, and they got super popular overseas. So then a bunch of those westerns, <laughs> a bunch of new westerns came out, a bunch of the original westerns were then adapted into samurai movies. Uh, I already... Bought this one, didn't I? All right, well, back to it, I guess. Um, stethoscope, don't got money for that. We're done here. Sidearms, revolver, old pistol. Images. Why is the damage worse on the old pistol? Oh, here we are, six shooter. All right, revolver. Upgraded, okay. Fast, short. Um, owl rifle, none. Drone knife, none. All right, good. All right, it's an old pistol. I hope we get to. Oh yeah, this is just our character intro, I guess, for whatever character we're picking. But we only have access to one character right now. I don't have a musket yet. I wish I did. How much for the lot? Well, you did good, son, but you're out of luck. Take a look around. There ain't much here. I got nothing to offer you. Bugger gang is done destroyed my town. <laughs> that, that damn dog gone leaved himself all over them fancy boots here. Oh shit! All right, time to murder the entire town. I like dogs. Why is one of the tags Yeehaw? Why wouldn't one of the tags be Yeehaw? Well, that was sick. Are you? Oh. There you go. Punching motherfuckers in the old west. Dead eye ready. I love how dead eye can miss. That seems wrong. Asshole. Who did that? There we go. Uh, I wish I had to reload this thing. This town looks trash. That I could always miss. Could it? I don't remember it ever missing, but then again, I was also not moving while I was shooting in Red Dead Redemption. Uh, well, Redemption at all. We're getting shot in the dick, asshole. Got him. I'm hurting on health, though. I need to play a bit smarter. Oh, there he is! There's Obi! Shit! Nice. I'm still my knife equipped. 
I feel crazy. Grab the whiskey. And now the game suddenly transitions like that, right? Get ready for a dueling showdown. Oh boy, here we go. I always talk about burritos. Okay, time to learn how to duel. Press. Okay. Let's go over the four phases. Oh boy. Press back on the right analog stick. What? Hold on. Wait, back up, back up, back up. Press forward on the... Whoa, what? Okay. After drawing, the slow motion targeting phase begins. Okay. Use the right analog stick to move your cursor all over the enemy. The reticle will cycle between the following shot types. Four shot yellow. Hit dark red. Critical hit bright red. Okay. I gotta wait for it to get to that one, and that's when I wanna hit the trigger. Press R1 to acquire each lock. Okay. You can have a maximum of six locks. Got it. Firing red will fire more than once six locks have been placed, or the slow motion phase times out. Okay, to end the slow motion phase early, press the R2 button. You do always talk about burritos, it's one of your favorite topics. Let's give the whole dueling sequence a try. Yes! Okay. Nice! Why is that so fast? Okay, hold on. Let's try it again. Oh boy, this is this is jank. All right, come on, come on. Where's my cursor? Where's my cursor? Good. Would you like to practice the duel again? No, I think I'd just like to do it. I would just like to do it. Advance. Training time is over. Let's duel for real. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. When I reload, you're so fucked, sir. <laughs> I I feel completely the opposite, man. I hate the fucking duels. Just let me shoot my gun like normal. Let me switch my gun. Switch gun. Switch gun. Jesus Christ. Alex is frustrated. That's what that sound is. Nothing like a game you can barely control, huh? Hey, Gigolo. Oh, shit. Okay. Get in the cover. Get in the cover. I wish I could reload faster. Here I, am. I wish I could reload at all, like there doesn't seem to be a reload button. Alright, I gotta look this up. Red Dead Revolver, I don't know. The damage is funky in this, I'm getting stalker vibes and it's making me upset. Come on, Chrome, Red Dead Revolver Reload Button. Because I need to know that. That is fucking me, man. Uh, L1 switch. What the fuck? Just tell me the reload button, fucker. How do you reload? Circle. Circle punches. Okay. I thought it was impossible. Okay, let's let's give it a shot. How'd you not kill him at point blank range? All right, that's a so that was a lot. That was a fucking lie. Triangle. There you go. Jesus. Asshole. Hey, Blue Wolf, how you doing? 
What is a circle? <laughs> Where are you running off to, Sheriff? Here comes Big Stinkus, the super mutant. Ugly Chris is a real coward, but he uses the innocent in shields. Whoa! There you are. Fuck you, ugly. Oh no! <laughs> that was awesome! Yes, holy shit, why is there even a countdown? What is this, an arcade game? Fuck! I don't want to learn how to duel. I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. Just skip the fucking tutorial. That's good to hear. I'm getting a little bit frustrated with this, but it's, you know, it's the situation of playing a new game. Come on, come on, cursor. Got him! Crazy eyes. Yeah, me too. I was expecting him to, like, do a backbreaker. Like Bane, totally. Tip my hat. I tips my hats to you, sir. Yeah, triangles reload. That's fucking weird. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> Alright, this time I won't let him do a sick backbreaker on me. I'm gonna make you pay. Your best bet is to hit ugly in the feet. All right, well, I, I was gambling some other shit game. Let me, I'm figuring it out. Give me a chance, idiot. Thing the high ground for. Got him. Bye, ugly. Is it? Nice. Says that's super funny. Watch some others weren't streaming. We're just having fun. That's good to hear. Okay, lady. It is kind of funny. Yeah, totally. Sub to the Reddit and. That's funny how that works out, you know? <laughs> Sheriff Bartlett might offer you a handsome reward if and you can get me there. Nice! I'll send a telegram and tell him about your arrival. <laughs> I'll send a telegram and tell him about your gram. I'm doing alright. I'm a bit all over the place and sleepy right now, but I'm learning this game and that was pretty fun. That was a pretty fun fight. I heard this game was fun. It just isn't like the later games. I unlocked Ugly Chris! Yay! Now the game can really begin, now that we have Ugly Chris as a playable character. But I'm doing good. I'm in a pretty good mood. Riding high off of yesterday's stream. That was a lot of fun. And, uh... Oh, Breach Loader. Don't I do. Family photo, 650. Gutted Bible. Conceal your secrets in this hollowed out book. Nice. Oh, repair? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. That's something. Alright, what's the damage on this one? I want to go I want to go with the shoddy. Owl rifle, Halcyon rifle. We're going with the shoddy. We need Springfield muskets. Because it showed this in the opening scene. I don't know. Because the Mexican-American War is when Blood Meridian takes place, and they use uh, ball and cap rifles, weapons then, so I don't know when it takes place. Uh, any more cards? Yeah, there's a few more. And uh, there's a few more in Shell Floor. Oh, no, Blue Wolf! Yeah, Blue Wolf! Do you have any more cards? Check the cord. Why is the double barrel so long? Because it can actually... Well, okay, most, sh most double barrels you see in games have been sawn off. In this game, it's not, though. Hey, how's it going? It's a long ride to Brimstone. Oh, dude! I reckon I'll manage. Christ! He's been shot and now he's riding a train all the way across country? Holy shit. Poor bastard. Hey, how's it going? Mr. Yella? 
The best general store in the territories in Brimstone. I should know. I own it. Nice. You look tired, sir. You should get some coffee. Five common cards. Oh, I love it. Uh, viewer, common entity, special ability none. Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, be sure to do so so you can check these out. Boxing gloves. Place this on any entity to give it plus two strength. Doesn't stack. Bot, a common entity. I like the bot. That's great. Rule book. Place this on a viewer card. This viewer card gets one health and strength. Place this mod on a mod card to give it plus two strength. I like the idea of a mod card. That's wonderful. Wood common. I like wood. Armadillo or Blackwater? Jeez. At least I know. I know now. You guys are like. There's demand for me to play Red Dead Redemption. Because everybody loves that game. Where everyone is heading. Yeah, Always Brimstone. Jobs in Brimstone. Mm -hmm. Peaceful me, I'm going to work for Carnaby Peabody. He's the manager of the Brimstone Bank. But what if he pees? Guy. That was terrible. What a stupid fucking joke I just made. I was gonna say, what if he pees on your body? But then I had to move my curtain, so it, I didn't get to finish it. So it was terrible. Of course, it was fucking terrible. Black water. I like Black Water and Red, Red Dead Redemption. Actually, I actually had a really funny story about Red, Red Dead Redemption 1. I was doing this uh, mission that had a sneaking part. I was just kind of sneaking along. But I had been playing a lot of Splinter Cell at the time. And in Splinter Cell, a common thing you do is shoot out light so that you can hide in the darkness. And so then I, I threw a knife at a fucking lantern to put it out so I could hide in the darkness. And I ended up starting a fucking fire and killing myself. I like RDR. Really? Now this here's a robbery. Nobody plays hero, nobody dies. It's Dutch. <laughs> okay. Yeehaw. It's a giant ass shotgun. And when he's on fire, it is. Here we go. Look at him. I love his face. I love his big mustache face. Right. It's weird that like Got him. And find nature, Jack. Nature's rule. In a shaky hand. It's the Waco kid. Yeah, but this is my shooting hand. Oh, I love Blazing Saddles. What a wonderful movie that is. Oh, man. Right, Revolver. What kind of damage are we talking about here? That's good. Oh, same loadout as last time. Okay. Let's go. Can we skip this? Alright, that's fine. When I reload, you're so dead, sir. Got him. All right. Now we can advance. Oh, hello. Good. Eesh. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take cover here. It's like that scene from fucking Blazing... It's that scene from Naked Gun. Got him. Scene from MGR. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, knife. Making sure I'm reloaded before I go up here. I love how the bullets are projectiles. 
Better actually control this fucking thing like it was on PC. I'd probably be decent at this game. But I, alas, I am stuck to play on a controller. Such is my lot in life. Oh, I see. I see. When I reload, you're so fucked. There you go. You son of a... How are you guys liking the stream so far? How are you guys liking the game? This is pretty chaotic. Uh-oh. Engineer! Alright. Engine far. Duck? Oh, is there a crouch? There's a crouch the whole time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't mind me, just... Oh, that was sick! Whoa, this is sick! Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Asshole, come on. Get out from cover, Jack. Not Jack, it's red. Alright. Oh, my god! Get back up there. Alright, no worries. I'll wait. I'm a patient man. It's a long walk to Brimstone. Yes. Engine. I saw practical problems. <laughs> I just hopped off. I didn't try to! I just like how he just like calmly walks in that direction. Oh, poor bastard. <laughs> nice work. What killed me? Okay. Yes, retry. Come on, come on, I've seen this cutscene already. I'm going to kill you slow and painful life. Crouch. Nice work. Crouch. Nice work. Oh my god, game. Holy shit. Jump! Jump! Wow, holy shit. There's some input lag on this. JUMP! Alright, fuck fighting these guys. Where are you going, little butterfly? Go. Hope the front of the train is the engineer. Fucking <laughs> wants to beat my ass. That don't work. Use more gun. I like that, that's good. All right, up to peep while climbing. That's cool. Ow! I can shoot. I can like Nathan Drake hang shoot. That's sick. Hut. I did it. <laughs> this guy's like, oh my god! Stop! Stop getting hit on wake up. Fuck off! Fuck off! All of you. I hate trying to aim. I'd just rather punch you. Die. Asshole. Got one more shell left. Get deaded. That was so bad. All right, that didn't do what I think it could. I thought it, I thought I could like Nathan Drake hang shoot. Crouch, crouch. There you go. Whoa. When I reload, you're in so much trouble. There we go. I did it. This game is very wonky. It's breathing pure CO2. <laughs> it's like Polar Express. I'll duel the train, mister. There we go. 
Nice work, sir. Thanks for saving me. No problem. Hey, let me patch you up a bit. All right. Give me some whiskey. Whiskey's your healing you item. Into these desperados. All right. I like how the game just suddenly stops so I can tell me bullshit I already fucking know. Can we file that under shit I already know? Like when the game's just like, hey, we got you got to protect the engineer from these guys who are coming. I gotta stop time to tell you that. Die. Try to get the breach loader ready. I could get money for everything you do, though. Why is the train so unstable? Eh, it's a pretty shitty looking train. It's a pretty shitty train. Just had some dynamite to throw this guy's way. I like his little, uh, uh, that's good. Got him. Wish I had whiskey I could drink to restore my dead eye. Because it's way back then. Yeah, it's a shitty train, clearly. I crouch while doing this? I crouch and then I aim. Alright, yeah, no crouching. Crouching's not for aiming. Crouching's for... Well, crouching's for something. Oh man, this is making me want to play Call of War as Gunslinger. You guys ever play that game? That game is fucking insanity. Fuck off. I'm the punching cowboy. Did you just kill your, kill your own guy? I want to when I'm done with RDR. You definitely should give it a try. The game's really fun. Yeah, the horses look good. Die! Holy shit! Here, I'll stand in front of his bullet. No, shoot me, asshole. Holy shit, these shotguns are terrible. By the way, if I putting my barrel through you, you should die in a single shot no matter where I hit you. That's some bullshit. That's bad shotgun design. Get up on the train, idiot. That shit's so annoying to me in games where it's like, if my put if my if my barrel is touching you and I fire my shoddy, you die. That's all there is to it. Doom Super Shotgun wasn't just like a fun way of doing shotguns. It's the fucking basis basic example to be to be fucking followed when you put a shotgun in a video game. Holy shit. Like a bad video game shotgun to me is offensive. Because Doom got it right, for fuck's sake. Next stop, Brimstone. Meta bang paint. Hmm. Next stop, Brimstone. Yeah, this shotgun's terrible. I'm switching off it. Not very good. Good owl rifle. You unlocked a weapon upgrade. Nice. That's what we'll be switching. We'll be switching to that one for the time being, because fuck the breech loader. The breech loader is awful. You're putting a shotgun through someone. Yeah, absolutely. It should kill. But yeah, no, like, I don't know. Just, I, every single time a game tries to do a shotgun differently than Doom, I'm just like, no, do it like Doom. Doom did it right. You fucking fire it and it shoots out a it shoots out a wave of damage that goes forward, doing more damage when you're closer. That is the unless you're using slugs, that is how a shotgun should work in any video game you make. If it doesn't work that way, you're doing it wrong. Sheriff Bartlett. I got your telegram. Mighty grateful to you. I may have some work for you. Stop by my office later. Alright. Sounds good. <laughs> that must suck, though. It must suck to... It. Governor announces sixth annual battle royale. Yeesh. God, I wish this filter wasn't here. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
He puts the bad guys on the run. He puts the bad guys on the run. Hold on a second. Use a gun. Fourth year in a row by Mr. Kelly. Is the top of the West. Always cool. He's the best. This fucking song. This is the song from the end of Django. That's what I know it from. Holy shit, what's going on? Alright. Battle Royale. Sorry, I'm just thinking about the song, the background music that's playing right now. It's like when you hear, uh... Governor announces sixth annual battle royale. Well, I do declare. Jesus. I had me such a fright the other day. One of my little ones got to drinking mm, the some bar liquor medicine. I bought the from run. a traveling salesman. Put the varmints on the run. Does it say incel? Oh no. <laughs> it says hotel. Whoops. No vacancies. Got it. Hello. Hey. Hey! You look like you've traveled around these parts. Yeah. I heard you was the one that saved Sheriff O'Grady's life. You look like a fucking skinwalker. Anyway. Since the varmints on the run. Loud child. Oh my god, you can see the seams in his mask. The talk of the West. Can I get a haircut? Closed indefinitely. Fuck, everyone's just hairy then. Everyone's hairy and full of blood. I misread the town. I misread the sign as incel. Hey, can I rob this place? Let's talk. Good day to you, sir. Good day. Say I seen you before. Are you new? Oh you? man, I I fucking adore old westerns. I got to show you guys Outlaw Josie Wales. That's one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, Django's fucking amazing. So is Hateful Eight. I don't know if you've seen that one yet. Hello there, sir. Hello. If you're looking to take out a mortgage on some property, or even cash a promissory note, you came to the right place. Have I? Deed the saloon. Oh shit! Start your own business with this fine saloon located in the quaint frontier town of Widow's Patch. Shit, really? I can buy property? Well, that's cool. Uh, I don't have enough. I don't have that much though. So, can I play, po can I play poker and shit? Good day to you, sir. Good day. You say I seen you before. Are we you just talked. Town? If you are, you'd best talk to Mister P. Excuse me. I'm homeless. I am gay. I have AIDS, and I'm new in town. <laughs> Let's get out of here. He has dementia. Poor bastard. He got like snake bit in the face. People thought he was fine because he survived, but it fucked his brain up. The general store. Don't mind if I do, stranger. That accent's not going anywhere. Wow. Holy filters. Let's talk. What can I do for you, stranger? Jesus, you're terrifying. Clover's the name. How about a drink, bartender? Red roll. It's bed roll provides red roll. Bed roll. It's on your head. Rugged range. Okay, unlocks the journal page. Are right, these all unlocked? Oh, this is one. Go down character. Other Rico vengeful. Okay. Well, let's see if there's any like wep. Is there's like a weapon store? You know. How about a drink, bartender? I'm gonna start a creepypasta. He's telling a story about Pablo. Creepy Pablo. This is the fucking creepiest general store I have ever been to in a game. And in real life. He's around. Ah, sorry. He puts the varmints on the run. He puts the varmints on the run. All right, we're gonna stop off here then. Hey, guns! Buy three cans of peaches. Eat three of each canned fruits. 
Jesus! What is it with stores in this game looking so terrifying? Howdy, mister. I thought that was a man you had hanging from the ceiling. I'm oh, Blackwater, I hate this city. Town. Whatever it is. Repeater rifle. Oh, shit. That's a good one. Old pistol. What's the damage on that? Six. I read that as sex shooter. Just letting you guys know that I can't read. Oh, I can't read! Get out of here! <laughs> Hitler. We found him. Why would I believe you, sir? You're Hitler! What? He's the man who's the talk of the town. Up top with a bottle and... This is just Alex, just just drunk, drunken, drunkenly slurring old Western songs. Oh, way down south in the land of traitors, rattlesnakes and alligators walk away. <laughs> we'll all go down to Dixie, away, away. Them Dixie boys will understand that they must mind their Uncle Sam, away, away. Oh, I'll go down to Dixie. There we go. This is what I wanted. Give me drink. You look like you need a drink. What'll it be? How about a drink, bartender? Whiskey bottle, ornate bottle. I'm broke. I'm broke as fuck. I need a job. Oh. I'll sing that one. I like that one. Uh, Dixie. Lyrics. I just don't. I just don't have it memorized. Wow, that's different than I thought. Way down south in the land of cotton. Oh, here it is. I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times they are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away in Dixieland, in Dixieland where I was born. Early on one frosty morn. Look away. <laughs> Alright, I'm terrible. We'll stop singing. No more singing. Vannons. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. I, I just misread a sign. Uh, what was that? Uh-oh. Oh, no, that was a Steel Series update that I'm not going to install because... Fucking why? Do not disturb. Sounds of snoring. Locked. Inside its country. It's the unofficial anthem for the Confederacy. Yep. I didn't know either. Shit. Guess we're dead. Can I play the piano? Nope. Yeah, most of my family was like most of my family's from Alabama, so um Yeehaw. <laughs> what a great choice for your background music, by the way. I fucking love this track. Put the bad guys on the run. You're gonna make it worse for me. This is this game's already super blurry. I don't think like moving removing my glasses is just gonna make it worse. Let's go talk to the sheriff. Yeehaw. Yeah. If you're as good a bounty hunter as O'Grady says you are. What a terrible bounty hunter. Help me with a couple of real I'm, a I'm a good murderer. Terrible bounty hunter. It'd be worth a pretty penny to you. You might want to start with Pig Josh. He's one crazy outlaw Yeehaw. circus freak. Just be careful. He got a hankering for dynamite. So do I, so. Oh, you might want to keep your eyes out for some English fella. He don't know what a motley crew he keep in company with. Never mind that shit. Here comes Mongo. <laughs> I'm sorry. We got it. Like, if we're going to do a movie night soon, we got to fucking watch Blazing Saddles. That is one of my favorite movies. Hold on a second. I got a video I got to show you guys. Hoof and mouth disease. A thing of the past. Never mind that shit. Here's a scene for one of my favorite westerns. Man, the desert's so dry, big time. Thanks for the water. <laughs> I'm leaving it. And any one of you friends and neighbors kind of gather around and. Holy shit! 
<laughs> and they say that now, in Paris, France, even as we speak, Louis Pasteur has developed right, take a, drink. a new vaccine that will obliterate anthrax once and for all. <laughs> hey, you can't park that animal over there. It's illegal. <laughs> Think of it, gentlemen. Hoof and mouth disease, a thing of the past. Never mind that shit. Here comes Mungo. Because <laughs> he's Mongo, he's tough. I don't know what it is. Sheriff, sure, Mongo's back. He's. Sheriff. Sure. Mongo's back. He's breaking up the whole town. You've got to help us, please. Did you hear that? Now nah, it's please. This morning I couldn't get the time of day. Who is this Mongo anyway? Well, Mongo ain't exactly a who. He's more of a what. What he said. Well, now nah, I don't know. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. Uh, it's Willy Wonka. Thank you very much. Thank you. The fool's going to... <laughs> I mean, the sheriff's going to do it. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. If you shoot him, you'll just make him mad. <laughs> oh, I remember him for this. Andy Graham for Mongo. Holy shit! <laughs> A new game for Mongo. Sign, please. I love this movie. Thank you. Mongo like candy. <laughs> uh, Blazing Saddles. It's one of my. It's one of my favorite movies. It is a delightful comedy. It's also very, very offensive. Like, uh, basically the plot of the movie is uh, there is a corrupt governor basically trying to run this town into the dirt. Uh, they hire a... And so they basically hire a slave and they pose him as a sheriff so that they can run the town into the ground. But he's actually, like, really smart and competent. So he ends up... Oh, because I watch videos at work. But I just like to watch videos one after the other. But, like, basically he ends up becoming, like... He ends up being, like, a really competent, smart sheriff. And ends up, like, saving the town. Great movie. Uh, kind of a wholesome plot, actually. But uh, they do not pull any punches when it comes to racism. And uh, it was very controversial when it came out. <laughs> and it's not really controversial anymore. People really appreciate the movie now. It's considered, like, a classic. Anyway, sorry, I just wanted to show you guys that. It's one of my favorites. Um, perfect ending. Yep, dynamite. All right, guys, so we got dynamite. I don't trust myself with dynamite all that much, revolver. But we'll get some dynamite. I don't got the money for dynamite. We're not getting dynamite. No dynamite. Sorry, chat. Sorry, dynamite is canceled. Alcon rifle, repeater rifle. That's what I needed. Hell yeah. Excellent. Candy Graham for Mongo. <laughs> oh, boy. It's from the uh, director of Spaceballs and Robin Hood Men in Tights, if you know that one as well. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I Are you Virgil? I found myself in a most unfortunate situation. If you would be kind enough to help me. English Bob. You ain't my problem. Indeed, sir. However, you might feel differently once you look behind you. It's the strange my man! Death? Aw, oh, poor clown. Why was there a clown? That flag's not historically accurate. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, damn! 
What's with the clown? Enough from the clown! <laughs> Bitch. Think it's funny? Think it's funny to hit a man? Think it's funny to shoot one, too. Oof to the back of the head, right? Is that a clown dog, too? Capcom made this. Why the fuck now? Okay, so I'm getting... This is giving me real, like, God Hand vibe, if you guys know that game. Like, I'm getting a lot of God Hand vibes from this game. It's just, I, I, I don't know, I kind of miss the weird, wacky Japanese-isms. Or the wacky kid. What the fuck? Oh, this is great! Whee! Look here, we have that in Red Dead Redemption 2. The Clown Gang. Clancy Brown's Clown Gang. Clancy Brown is Mr. Krabs' voice actor. Oh, right, they're circus people! Hold on, I'm desecrating this corpse. Is that a Gatling gun? Hell yeah, man. I got you. <laughs> you alright, man? You do you cool dude? I'm guessing there's more where they came from. Nice. That ends pretty cool. I need to play it. I need to play it. I've only I've only seen people play it. I haven't played it myself. He'll cover me. There he is! And them them boys. Yeah, they're all circus people. That's why they're clowns. Oh no way. Let's go! Alright, Red. Crank that soldier boy. Mini guns never got better after this. This was the peak of Gatling gun technology, clearly. God, this music! So good! This aesthetic. Also, I'm definitely gonna have to turn my sensitivity down. This is too. Let's turn the sensitivity down. Ah, boobity bit bit bop bit bop bit bop bit bop bit. There we go. Created just because Capcom made it and has the guns and not it's not Mega Man. It doesn't mean it's Resident Evil. Sure. I agree with that. It took me a second to understand what you meant, but yeah, I agree with that. Fucking love me some uh love me some Capcom shit. I, when I said wacky Japanese-isms, that's just kinda like in this era, this is the like, I don't know. Well, I wasn't trying to denigrate it. I, I, I meant it in good humor. I love this kind of thing. And also, Resident Evil's wacky, too. That's what I love about it. My favorite Resident Evil game is the original version of RE4. I love wacky shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to get off here. When I say wacky bullshit, I mean it in all good fun. I love wacky games. Yeah. They're a lot of fun. A lot of my favorite games are wacky games. Like, 40k is very wacky, so, uh, while being grimdark at the same time. I also like how they can actually come up and get you on your turret, so you have a reason to reposition if they get too high. A lot of people get that wrong when it comes to turret sections. I'm going to take this cover here. Get the bodies. Oh, understandable. Come on, cat. Come on, clown boy. I said cat boy, what the hell? the body on the floor. Yeah. Is it safe to is it safe to walk past or not? We did it, guy. Thank you, mysterious stranger. Oh shit. They're like just having a conversation over here. It's like, all right, hold on, I gotta keep up the act. Oh my god. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> he looks like a bully boss fight. Ah, oh, I love it. Come here, dude. What we got? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking what? Oh, it crashed. God damn it. Oh wait, no it didn't. It just hitched. I should probably start quick saving actually, because I don't want to risk losing shit. Jesus! Alright, I gotta get out of here. Jesus!
Run like hell. I have no dynamites. I am, I, I am, I have no dynamites. I'm probably gonna hop into the Gatling gun. I'll probably have the, I'll probably have the stranger get his get his attention and then why don't we have we don't have boom booms very sad kamikaze fit kamikaze fit fists I like that that's good oh Mister don't don't run to me Hut! fuck off I wish I could dodge. That'd be nice. I have a jump, but I don't have a dodge. Go after him! I'm gonna go take, take a fucking chance with the cougars. Holy shit. You could, it's just you have to be aiming when you do it, so. Alright, what are you, what the fuck are you shooting at? I'm sorry, what? Get up here, asshole. I'm gonna beat your ass. Quit shooting at me. Shoot at him. Alright, well, you have fun dealing with the big guy. Oh look, you're doing your job. Perfect. Huh. What did he just do? I don't know, but I climbed as high as I could. Where are you? God damn it. I'm not gonna be able to hit him. Where are you? Now we run like hell. Don't mind me just trying not to die by dying. You know what? I'm just gonna drop. Had to pop in some Uncharted 4. Awesome. What did he just do? He exploded! I would just run into town to the lock and get him. Yeah, just kite him. Just fucking kite him into, uh, into gunfire. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Can I have some Deadeye, please? I feel like, oh, uh, with the extras, yeah, those are super fun. Like the fat Drake, the fat Drake cheats and all that. Um, gotcha, bitch. Damn it, asshole. Here, Mongo. God damn it! Of course he's fucking not. He's so he's smart enough to hide behind the cliff face. But not smart enough to avoid my bullets. Fucking sit still! Oh my god, I hate this so much. I can't aim. I suck so bad at this game. God, I wish this had mouse and keyboard support. Holy shit, you guys. What is it with this series and having just like terrible PC support? Climb. There we go. There's a game first. You didn't know that? 
the game not to play it. I'm I no, you should have seen the MGS3 playthrough, you guys. It was it was pretty fucking dreadful. Can I shoot the dynamite on his back at least? Oh fuck me! Oh my god! How did you not know? Wait, how did you not know Uncharted was a game first? That movie sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a dreadful movie. I, I I was so bored that I nearly fell asleep. And we got to the end, and there's one good scene in that whole fucking movie, and it's when it's the fucking where they where they're okay. Two helicopters are like digging the they dug the pirate ships and they're hanging from the helicopters, and they're like people fighting on the ships, and I was getting excited, but every single time Nate picked up a gun, something would knock it out of his fucking hand. Nate was not able to murder anybody. Nate murders thousands of people! Secondly, I hated how the fucking ships were CG. I hated how they... Like, when they lit the cannon, I was so excited. Like, oh my god. Mid-air ship battle. This is awesome. The cannon's about to fire, and it's not a real cannon. It's a fucking CG model of a cannon firing a CG explosion at a CG ship. God, that sucked. We have fallen so far since Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm sorry. I had to rant. That movie was fucking miserable. I like, I, I felt like everyone but me I was watching it with fell asleep and like the final scene I kind of pepped up like, oh my god, hey, this is going somewhere. And besides, they should have had no, they should have had uh, Nolan North play Nathan Drake. Okay, okay, okay. Something crazy. So there's a scene in the movie, it's like a funny Easter egg where Tom Holland runs into Nolan North on the beach. And like, Nolan North is the actor who plays Nathan Drake. Problem is, I would I was getting used to Tom Holland as Drake. We get two thirds of the way from the movie and they just have the actor playing Drake on screen. He's just talking and he's normal. Why the fuck couldn't Nolan North play Drake in the movie? <laughs> like he's too old. No, you can use CG to age him down, it's fine. Use the CG budget you did for that ship scene you botched and use some real fucking cannons and make him look slightly younger. I don't care. When you don't put, like, you put Nolan North in your movie and he's just, he looks like Nathan Drake because they base the character off of his face. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm just ranting about how miserable I was watching that movie. Oh, they got it so wrong. That should have just, that, that movie should have been as violent as the games. That was the other thing. God damn it. Yeah. It's the age of the deepfake. They could have totally pulled it off. Unless, or they could have just had him play, to, play a younger character, but still be old. Nobody, it doesn't really matter, because he is the character. It's like having someone other than ha David Hayter play Stink. Oh, oops. Fuck you, Pig Josh. Die! I wish I could Deadeye with him. I can't, why can't I fucking Deadeye? Die! <sighs> I mean, Indiana Jones, I wasn't gonna watch it. I just... I don't know, I haven't even seen the old ones. I'm so frustrated. This fight sucks. Let me shoot the dynamite on him and just blow him up in one hit! He's covered in dynamite! Get up onto the... You know what? I'm gonna just... Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, fuck you, game. Don't put it there if I can't climb on it. I'm so mad. This sucks. Get up, Red! <laughs> nice! Fuck you, Red. Here we go, climb. 
Oh no, I, I was a bit, but like I don't care about it. I don't care about it. spoiling that movie. It's terrible. Go play Uncharted. I'm sorry, that's mean. I should I should care. I should, but I just I don't know. I was so disappointed in my experience of that movie. I had no expectations, and yet I was still disappointed. This is kind of nice, peaceful up here. Where the fuck is the big guy? I'm in. <laughs> I normally, yeah, you know what, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for spoiling the Uncharted movie for people. You might, you know, it's my opinion, I don't like it, but you guys might enjoy it. My bad. Just because I, I had a bad viewing experience with it doesn't mean everyone else will. I'm sorry. Um, are you winning? Seems like your bullets don't do much. It's almost like you shouldn't even be here. That's fair. That's meant for anyone else that might be interested. Hey, why is that cage there if I can't climb on it? I don't know. Got him. Yay, we did it. Hell yeah. Oh, what a terrible fight. Thank you, sir. <laughs> your help has I like your big mustache. If I play as you, can I do if twin I pistols? Of any assistance whatsoever, do not hesitate to call upon me. <laughs> now, I like him. If you'll excuse me, He's cool. I have a certain debt to collect from Professor Perry and his circus crew. Good day to you. Thank you. Nice job killing Hippo, King Hippo. One hundred fourteen percent damage. Dead eye increase. Yeah. Now I can use Dead Eye, except I can't for some reason. I couldn't use Dead Eye for that entire fight, even though I was shooting him over and over again. Why can't I use Dead Eye? Jack Swift. Hell yeah. Look at him, he's so cool. Okay. Jesus Christ, that's just going and going, huh? Yeah, you can feel the Capcom on this. Holy shit, you can feel it. You cowards! Oh, somebody let me free! Oh, oh mister? Mr. Please, you gotta cut me loose! Mr. Please! I was getting worried for a second there. I thought he was gonna just grab him a, grab him, grab him a handful of titties. Oh my god, that's so sick! You want some more? That's smart. I guess I won. Who is up for some barbecue? Whoa, you're cool. If I ever finish reloading, y'all are y'all are dead. Still? Oh, 
Tough guy. I'm hitting the dead eye button. I'm hitting the dead eye button. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Oh, wow. LaRouche. Playing the lights out chapter now. I haven't actually haven't. I, you know, I've never played Uncharted Four or uh, Lost Odyssey or Lost Frontier, whatever the fuck it was called. The lot, like whatever the expansion for that's that called. He plays gals. I like this guy. Reminds me of. Let's grab a heels. Jack's so fucking cool. I wish I could be cool like Jack. I'd have to be a dapper gentleman with revolvers. Time for a little pick me up, I think. What's he doing? Is he using Venom? Oh yeah. When they're robbing the hotel and stuff, or the uh, museum. <laughs> Luckily for me, the aiming's kind of loose in this, so I can make it work. Still not a fan though. Still not a fan of having to use a controller to aim, but. I am mashing my melee button. Oh, okay. Money I got. I'm not familiar uh, with uh, Rafe. Oh my gosh! Shoot, Jack! Ah! God damn it! It's so fucking unresponsive. Why? I should be able to use Deadeye anytime, it's so frustrating. Oh, nice. There's a cell shaded mode? That sounds rad. I, I just wish I could use Deadeye at any time. Because it's like, it's what I use when it's like mix in with my shooting, but instead of the game just wants me to stop doing shit. What are you doing? Oh, nice how you were able to block that bullet before it hit your fucking head, asshole. Fuck you, Atlas. <laughs> I remember, like, back when I was on the PS2 and 360, the way I use bullet time versus how I use it now in games is so different. Time for a little pick me up, I think. Cause like, when I played Max Payne 3 or GTA 5 or Red Dead, the way I used bullet time in those games was to 
basically line up shots I didn't have the time to line up normally. But now it's like when I'm on PC, it's like I tur I use bullet time to turn myself into a fucking like a monster that just kills everything. So I'm faster than the world. And like like when I play Max Payne or like Call of War as Gunslinger. All right, reloading all my guns. Wow, not a single one of those hit. Oh boy, guys. I'm getting worried. I hope this doesn't, game doesn't get much harder, because I am having genuine trouble, like, playing this. He's on the water tower. Like, when I'm having trouble interfacing with the game, just on a basic level, that's not a good sign. Okay, posted it. I'll take a look. Reloading all my shots again. All this excitement. Who is this character? Oh, Pistola, I wish it was going well. It's not. It is not going well. I don't. I'm having trouble interfacing with this game on the most basic of levels. I'm getting worried I might not actually be able to play this. I am so terrible at aiming on controllers, and this game does not play too well or accommodate my lack of skill. Hey, Pant. Oh, are you saying hey to him? Yeah, yeah. I saw that's Bistola, the person we raided yesterday. They're the cool uh, skeleton cowboy who was playing Bolt Gun. Yeah, it's when I'm having trouble interfacing with the game. It's like when I when I can barely control the damn thing, I tend to get worried. All right, reloading again. I like the moats. I like the big emotes. It's also good to see you, man. I'm making it work, and I am having a little bit of fun with the game, but, like, man, I wish it controlled better. There you go. Grab the heals. Thank you. Got, not, got all not fun go. Oh, nice. Getting cozy. Settling down for the night. Got the heals. I actually like his ability. I like his uh, Deadeye alternative a lot. Out from the sun rode a man with a gun. Bark was his name. All right. I hate this guy. I don't like him very much. I've almost run dry. Okay, Swift. I've had enough of you now. Have you? Here we go. <laughs> I like the emotes. Those are fun. I need to get more of those. That means, that means I gotta subscribe to some peeps. Which means I gotta watch more streams. I've always been bad about that. Like, I don't... I don't I don't know. I just have so many YouTube videos and movies and shit to watch that I tend, I tend to neglect my... neglect supporting my fellow streamers. Where you at? I can. This game is very arcadey. Yeah. It's, uh, definitely fun when you, when you get it, when you get it going right, but boy is it, uh... It's not as tight as I'd like it to be. Hey, Perry. Agent P. 
Yeah, you can't quick switch weapons to avoid having to reload. You have to use the gun that you have. Six shooter and then the showstoppers. Nice. I have like two or three going right now. I just, um, I feel like I need to follow more. Watch more. I don't have the guns. Damn, I'm sorry, man. Alright, buddy. Fuck you, Perry. I can't believe this became, like, the quintessential cow- Like, this franchise became the quintessential cowboy simulator. That is crazy to me, how we went from this, like, cartoony- This cartoony stuff to that. Make no mistake, like, the tone and the personality of the game is what's keeping me going more than the gameplay. I love how this game looks and, like, sounds. And, like, I like the characters quite a bit. They're really fun. I just, uh... Did I just get shot through the building? Did you guys see that shit? So wacky. Yeah, it is. I like it a lot. Uh, I mean, I just, I don't know. Like, I wish the gameplay was tighter, and I wish this wasn't on a controller. That's the biggest thing killing me, is that I really am not used to playing games on a controller nowadays. Got him. Bye, Mr. Clown Man. I know nothing about... Let's help this grill. That was incredible. You she was standing fine on her own. All in a day's work. I only wish it were more financially gratifying. Well, shoot, mister. Get yourself a little money's all you're worried about, then I know where someone with your talent could pick up $5,000 in gold without even trying. Pray do tell, young lady, and I would be forever in your debt. It's like I'm playing his fucking Clan uh, Clayton from Tarzan. Winner takes all. Shouldn't be a problem for such a fine marksman like yourself. Well, madam. You think I'm a fine marksman? Did you just see the ki the chaos of what just happened? <sighs> Professor Perry. Woo! A lot of money. 42%. What a fine marksman like yourself. You're really good at running around in circles and getting shot. That'll make you great at that running around in circles and getting shot competition up in Brimstone. <laughs> now that's a name I ain't heard in many years. Brimstone? For bitches. <laughs> Bitchstone. Brimches. What? Professor Perry perishes at the hands of a traveling showman. Yep, that's what happened. All right, I need to go get my gun switched up because right now I'm running the old pistol. As always, I'm gonna try and focus on getting more firearms and actually getting better. Oh, Clayton in regards of Tarzan. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just thinking about uh, I had played Kingdom Hearts one recently, and I was just thinking about his uh, voice. He just reminds me of Clayton. Out from the sun rode a man with a gun, and Bart was his name. He rode, he made his blazing saddle a torch to light the way. All right, six shooter. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade our revolver. Hey, look at that. Cool. So now we have a better, uh, we have a better revolver. Excellent. And Clayton may cry. Uh, let's get the fuck out. Yeah, the shops in this are so creepy looking. I guess it's because they were going for, like, a realistic form of lighting. And it just, I guess, looks... I mean, that's what it would be lit like without any internal lighting. Let the loading go. 
He puts the varmints on the run. He puts the varmints on the run. He's the guy who's the talk of the town. Peace and love. What's up, Pan? If you don't mind hunting down a woman, bad. You can call her a woman. Bad Bessie. Guess the answer is no. Then see you, sir. I really like the. I really like putting the sh like the cylinder. The cylinder is the loading thing. That's pretty cool. I can't talk tonight, guys. I'm so sleepy. Yeah. Give me that. Oh wait, no, I'm not done. I, I know I want the oh one of the twin revolvers. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I am a fool. Red. I think these are meant to cover up loading screens, but because I'm on an emulator, it like loads instantly, so it's I just have to watch the cutscene. Reminds me of playing the P Whoa. Corset. Kick ass. Nice boots. Like peace <laughs> his leaves. Oh, that's what you meant. Alright, I get it now. I really like Red's outfits, like the kind of like uh looks like skins. I really like that. It's a cool look. Watch your step. Falling from high distances can murder you. Kill you to death. Alright, we're gonna go with the repeating rifle. I feel like this is a relatively open area. I also like how with every step you can hear his uh, spurs. That was embarrassing. Alex, and I've seen these lyrics, Hell Drag and Hell Le Hell Drag to Hell and Leave You There. <laughs> He'll drag to hell and leave you there. I like that one, that's good. I like the little I like the little violin symbol. I feel pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Honestly, if this is more of like a cover shooter, I'd probably enjoy it a lot more. That was a lot of fun though, just now. He's the guy who's the talk of the town. Yeah, that's how you reload a repeater. Oh shit. Hello! Hey TJ, how's it going, man? Oh boy. Uh, don't mind me, gentlemen. Whoa! You guys didn't tell me you were bringing Big Larry. Oh shit. Star Wars ass music. Turn mega moment. Nice. Finally got a gun. Cool. That was sick. This thing feels really good to shoot. Oh, wow. Sorry, sir. Oh, boy. 
All right, back to scaling the mountain. Actually, I'm kind of liking this level so far. A little short burst battles rather than one giant battle. Turn Mega Moment? What do you mean? Let's grab some revolver ammo and we'll grab the six shooter and carry that up. I'm really digging the repeater. Shocker, right? I think the repeater was my favorite weapon in uh, Red Dead Redemption, so it works out. Makes sense to me that in the previous game, this is the gun I really enjoy. Alright, getting to cover. I love how you can aim without putting your head out. That's really cool. Nice. Oh shit. I guess I guess it's all clear. All right, let's reload and we get in cover. That was a double action revolver, boy. Nice. That that was a fun weapon. God, the fucking gu the pistol, the handgun you get at the end of the game is super good. Ah, man. I played that game in the weirdest, like, non-way possible. My dad, uh, my dad got it for the PS3, but he, it was at a time where he was trying to, like, basically, he didn't want me playing certain games because they were inappropriate, so, like, I couldn't play GTA 4 or Red Dead, but I could play, like, the older GTA games. That was okay. And so, um, I would play, I would, basically, I would free roam, and then he would do the missions when he played. So, like... I didn't. I don't really remember any of the specifics of the story. I just remember like locations. I spent so much time in armadillo bounty hunting, just for fun. Oh, and I, and I spent a lot of time in Blackwater playing poker and getting into duels because I cheated using the Suave Gambler outfit. He played the third-person shooter part of the game, and I played the. Oh my God! Sorry, sir. I scared you. And I played the uh, sandbox side of the game. It was a lot of fun. All right, finally got a gun. This level's not bad. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Gotta love a game with good second. Oh, there's so much fun. All the little board games and minigames you could play. The fact that you could like go to the store and buy a bandana. Oh, buy a bandana or rob a bank and not lose any of your reputation for it. It was so fucking fun. Like, oh man. that and, I think I feel like that and Bully have really good, like, have my favorite free roam. Oh shit, two of them? This is getting out of hand. Why are we bothering to quick draw with these guys? Just cap them. This tells you the kind of cowboy I would be. Total renegade. I don't think I ever got an honorable kill in uh, Call of War as Gunslinger. He dead. <sighs> Gunslinger is so good, man. Oh, man, I love Call of War as Gunslinger. I'm going to be playing that entire series on the channel eventually, but, like, I like there was a period of time where I just kind of got that game on a whim, and I'm like, oh, Car Call of War as Gunslinger. And then I, I just sat in my chair for an entire day, and I beat the game 100%, and I'm just like, oh, my God, my life is forever changed. It's like when I played Max Payne for the first time, it was like, oh my god, I I feel like I now just learned what a video game is. I can't tell, are these civilians? But Red, those civilians were unarmed. Yeehaw. <laughs> oh yeah, they're so good, man. Gunslinger is so, like, super special. Every now and again, you'll play a game where you're just like, oh, okay, this is my favorite. Like, this is gonna be one of my favorites. I'm gonna remember this forever. And the story, too, is great! Like, the story is so much fun, and it's, like, got a, such a simple premise, and it's that 
old drunk cowboy walks into a bar and you're basically playing his drunken fairy state. You're playing his drunken stories. So much fun. Also, I feel like if they have arms, they're arms. Hell yeah. I feel like, um, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about it, but I feel like the bad ending of that game is way better and actually closer to a canon ending. Because, like, the good ending makes little sense to me. Like, I've decided to forgive you for no reason, even though I came here to kill you. Oh, damn, he got me. They have arms, they're arms. Very well. Right back to it. Mm -hmm. Another, uh, there's a couple other Western, there's, sorry, there's one other FPS game I want to play, and that's uh, Outlaws by LucasArts. That's a, basically a Western boomer shooter, like from the, from the time period, and it's got really good, like, 2D, 2D animated artwork. Our 2D animated cutscenes, it's like a cartoon, and like the game looks like it too. It's apparently really, really difficult, and I really want to play it. Glad we have a decent amount of pirate games nowadays. Or at least western themed games, if not pirate games. We got like oil tycoon games, we got like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the idea that he's just like a regretful soul. Maybe that's just because me, I enjoy, like, my we my westerns more depressing. You got me. It's over. Yeah, maybe it's just I, di I dig my westerns more depressing. Yeah, that's the one- yeah, the alien house- the only alien outhouse. Yeah, the entire game is animated like an old cartoon, it's super cool. Alright, pull up. There we go. Hop out at the after party. Mm -hmm. You throw dynamite in the outhouse and you can find an alien, you can find aliens cooking a cow. Super cool. Oh man. There need to be more Yeehaw games. Damn it! Um, that's because there's barely been a plot. Uh, basically, our plot is Red's family got killed. He became like a angry, grumpy vagabond slash cool cowboy guy wandering the desert, and uh, and now we've been shooting bandits for money. Like uh, this is basically him just doing a part-time job. No plot, like ha no plots happened since we got off the train so far. We're probably just gonna be like kind of talking over a lot of this game. That's okay. It's a lot of fun. Uh oh, almost a no glasses pant. No, oh, it's only one minute left in the stream anyway, so it works out. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. I have not been able to actually nail one of these duels yet. Whew. Nailed it. Whew. You don't never. What is it the good book says? Oh, I don't know, Doc. That's right, you don't never look a gift horse in the mouth. Game's got some really good voice acting and story. Uh, uh, Outlaws, that is, not this. I'm literally reading Blood Meridian right now. <laughs> I'm literally reading Blood Meridian right now. I talked about, like, playing this, like, Playing this as I'm reading Blood Meridian is the weirdest tonal contrast because all I can think about right now is the judge. I watched the Wendigoon video and I'm like, I gotta fucking see this. Sh I gotta read this shit, man. I fucking love No Country for Old Men in the Road, so I just like, oh man, all right, another Cormac McCarthy book. Fuck yeah, and it's a western too. Badass. I'm literally reading. Yo, thanks for the sub, dude. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for your support. That's awesome. But yeah, I'm literally reading Blood Meridian right now. It's, it is a, it is the, the strongest contrast of just characters who are complete scumbags. 
contrasted with just, like, the beauty of, like, what's this... Like, okay, that book, and this is going to sound really fucked up at surface. If you, if you know Blood Meridian, this is going to sound fucked up. That book makes me want to go to Mexico. I have never heard the landscape of Mexico described so beautifully. Because, like, most times when I see Mexico on a show or a movie, it's... You know, it's a desert with a yellow-tinted screen. The way that McCarthy describes the landscape is so fucking gorgeous. Like, I didn't know, I didn't know all the cool volcan- Like, I didn't know they had, like, volcanic shit down there. That's super- that's super rad. And, um, it's making me actually want to, like, go there. Yeah, like, when you think of Mexico, you think of the piss filter, right? You think of the yellow sunglasses. But, like, the way that Cormac McCarthy describes the Mexican landscape- the landscape of Mexico. It's just so gorgeous. And that book has like the strongest contrast between beautiful descriptions of landscapes of just like, yeah, very diverse biome, just this beautiful, beautiful land contrasted with the most despicable characters. <laughs> I don't think it goes one chapter without someone getting their head exploded or like killing an animal. <laughs> Like, I just got past the scene where Judge caved, the judge caved a fucking uh, horse's skull in with a boulder. I'm sorry, he didn't cave the skulls in. He smashed the horse's skull with a boulder. The judge is terrifying. I haven't stopped thinking about him. No, fuck it. Stream's pretty much over. We're gonna go ahead and just, uh... <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and save here, and I'm gonna play a fucking video to wrap us up. Uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't play that clip. I don't... No, you know what? I, I can't just go playing clips. Never traveled to the jungle side of Mexico. Really? Hmm. I, I was gonna play the judge's speech on war, but I don't know if the N-word is used in that, because the N-word is used a shit ton in that book, because it's... Well, all your a lot of your main characters are racist fucks. But, oh God, what a great book. I, I, if you guys haven't read it yet, I'd recommend checking out the Wendigoon video. Um, even if you, even if you don't read, it's like, it's worth checking out. Wendigoon's probably like my new favorite YouTuber. Not in terms of like, he's my absolute favorite, but he's like the newest YouTuber I've watched that I've really enjoyed. Or like the snowy side. There we go, got him. I think of another scene that is just like I just it's described as being so beautiful in the book. I'm really liking it. I also like it in the context of like the moral message of the road and um, no country for old men. The idea of like how despite the world is evil and it seems evil and fucked up, you gotta like the act of being a good person is inherently valuable. At least that's the message I got from those from that book, those books, and how like. The reason, the reason why the main character falls in the end of Blood Maria Dan is just his apathy and his unwillingness to take a stand against evil. Or to take a stand for evil in the eyes of the judge. I love this music, by the way. This level's not bad. This is not a bad level. I'm really digging it. Here we go. Got him. All right, we'll finish this fight. We'll finish this level, and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, I love the way these characters look. I can hear you coming, little man. <laughs> you think you can handle taking on a woman like me? Yeah, you're cool. You either drunk or crazy. Crazy. Fucking rad. Oh shit! Nope, none of that. Good sir, none of that. Oh, the whip, nice. Oh, I stuck a fucking knife in her head. Sorry, bad Bessie. Where you at, Bessie?
Don't you suck on my stones? Is that what he said? Ooh! That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? I like that shit. That was fun. Good level! Well done, Red Dead Revolver. That was a lot of fun. Ah, <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I had a wonderful time tonight. You gotta... Why'd he just cat? He's strong. He's very strong. He's a strong man. I was thinking about, like, how in the Wendigoon video he talked about, like, how Blood Meridian should be adapted. In, or he was talking about Blood Meridian being adapted into a movie. I don't think it should be made into a live-action movie. I want to see Blood Meridian made into a high-budget anime movie. Like, an anime. Like, on like on Netflix or some shit. Maybe, like, make it 20 episodes and just have it cover the book start to finish. And make it, like, hyper-violent. Like, Anime, anime OVAs from the 90s, like Akira or Ninja, Ninja Scroll or shit like that. I don't know. Just something that does the visuals and, like, the fantastical nature of that book justice. I, I, I love the road, the, the road and No Country for Old Men's adaptations, but Blood Meridian is just huge. It's, like, large scale. Yeah, like Castlevania. Like, if the Castlevania guys just went, like, all right, we're adapting Blood Meridian. And I, and I feel like the only way you could get around, like get across the fantastical and terrifying nature of the judge is, like, to animate that shit, you know? I honestly wish that, like, that was a thing that still happened. Because there were a few, there were quite a few uh, books way back when that only had anime adaptations. Like, the first adaptation of uh, Starship Troopers was an anime. Alright, how do I save... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave a quick save here, and then we're gonna try to do a normal save. We'll do an emulator save, and then we'll try a normal save. Save the slot one, and then we'll just quit. Be lost. Yes. And I also don't think it could be, like, I don't know if that movie would be able to even be played in theaters if they were to do, like, the... They could probably tone down the dialogue a bit. They don't have to use... Maybe maybe they don't got to use the N-word so much. Alright, we're going to see where we end up. Just to make sure. Red. Alright, I'm going to throw... I'm going to throw the Wendigoon video into gallery for your guys' homework. Did the stream go down? Oh, I just realized the, the screen glitched out. That's fucked. Bad Bessie beaten by Who's the talk of the town with the loaded gun? <laughs> he puts the bad guys on the run. Song. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching tonight's stream. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I sure enjoyed myself. If you haven't already... Be sure to join the Discord. Uh, most importantly, if you want to hang out, join our Discord. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. I had a wonderful time. The game was a bit tough at first, but I feel like I'm getting a feel for it. I'm getting into its rhythm. Uh, I think we're going to raid uh, Crooked Hat Cafe, who is playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, one of my one of my favorite games. So, any chance I have to show some love? Oh, no, it's the Old Republic. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Never mind. Uh, let me see. Maybe someone's playing Call of War as Gunslinger. I'll give you guys an, a, a taste of that game. Also, keep track of the cards. Yeah, the cat. Yep, yeah, the collectible Alex cards that people have been making. Damn it. Uh, Outlaws, maybe. Maybe I'll get lucky. No, not not this. Not the streamer Outlaw. Outlaws. There we go. The game. The game. Uh, are you serious? Hypnospace Outlaws. Am I going insane? Here it is, Outlaws. No one's streaming it. All right. Well, in that case, we'll just go Red Dead Redemption, uh, and we'll find ourselves the any VTubers before me. All right. Let's check out the Destroy of. It's an Argentinian. All right. So, back of the cards. I'm trying to find uh, an English-speaking streamer. I'm sorry. All right. Well, we might just wrap it up tonight then. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I will see you guys all in Discord and talk to you all later. Have a good one.
Bye. Thank you all for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.